Hello everyone, this is Pino Trogu from San Francisco State. This is the information design class and uh, today we're going to just quickly look at how to make a colored map in Tableau. It's sometimes called a color plat map and um, we're going to use the same uh, the same information I used in the last video which was uh, uh, rates for uh, breast cancer for white and for black. And if you recall, we made a scatter plot where we plotted the white um, uh, female cancer rate on the, on the X axis and the black on the Y. And we see that, you know, it's bunched up on the, on the top here because the rates for black are higher. And, you know, we can look at some of the states, Mississippi being not so great up there and so forth. Okay, so this is actually, the preferred graph for this assignment because it really gives a lot of information in one snapshot and allows you to compare different parts. And if you recall, it's a combination of two bar graphs. One of them kind of turned sideways and taking the tip of the information of each bar and, and crossing it and um, getting this from them. So we're gonna simply do another sheet. And I'm going to, again, the state is already a geographic role, which is good. It's already saying state. Otherwise, you would want to change that. But anyway, if we just bring it in, because it recognizes the names, uh, Tableau has a built-in map, and it just makes a map for you, in this case, with dots. If you want to make better maps, because I don't like actually the maps in Tableau, um, you can go to map, let's see, um, background images, sorry, uh, map options. Nope, that's not it. Uh, map, not map, 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 layers. That's not it either. And there is a way to subscribe to, um, uh, here, manage maps, to subscribe to different services. Some you pay, but some you don't, like uh, Mapbox. And here, if you created an account on Mapbox, you could then bring in those styles, okay? I'm not gonna do it now. Um, so it creates a map, it's automatic, it puts a dot. Um, you can zoom in and zoom out. Um, now what I wanna do actually, I wanna give a color for each state, right? Given, given the rate. So what I'll do is I'll grab the, um, the rate, the adjusted rate. Uh, I'll, I'll take the white and I'll bring it here to color. Okay, and here Tableau is smart enough and it already is coloring based on the uh, on the rate, right? So I'm gonna take now the the white um, rate and I'm gonna bring that to the label and I should do that the same for the state too. I'm gonna bring the state into the label and now I have also the the rate and the, and the state name. Now, if you want to change these colors, you go here under the key, I guess, or the legend, and you say edit color. And definitely what you want to do, first thing is do stepped colors because you don't, want to, you don't want to have to memorize thousands of different colors that you have in between if you do a gradient, okay? Um, and when you pick a scale, you could pick all kinds of crazy scales. You definitely do not want a diverging scale because you would go from low value that's dark to something in between and then again a higher value that's dark and that's no good so i'm just going to pick one let's see blue teal i like this one earlier um i'll leave everything except for the stepping i'll leave it alone for now let's say okay because you can do also advanced and you can change the size of the um, of the names, let's see, yeah, right here, so that they fit better. Um, so now we'll do another sheet. So this is the white, um, the rates, I'll do another sheet and we'll do the black, okay? We'll do exactly the same thing. And now drag the black rate into the color and then we drag the state into the label and we drag the black um, right into the label. And 
Let's see, we're going to adjust the size. And it's nice because it does them both at the same time. Now, if I toggle back and forth between these two, you can see that the colors actually are not that different in terms of um, in terms of looking that much different, right? I mean, yeah, it's it's this is a little bit darker, but not that much darker. And yet, we know that the rates are much different. Oh, actually, let's quickly change these two also to um, stepped. Okay, um, and the reason for that is just like we need to synchronize the um, the scales for bars so that we are looking at the same scale for each bar. We should do the same for colors here. And to do that, I'm going to uh, go here, say edit color uh, under advanced. What I'm gonna do, I kind of remember that the rate, the maximum for black is like 35 or something. And here the minimum for white, which is also the minimum in general is 13. I'll, I'll say start at 10 and end at 40. That way I will include everything and the colors will be distributed in that range. And everything turns much, much lighter. So let's do the... Okay, so now this is the black. I'll do the same thing here. I'll say advanced. I'll say start at 10. And you can see the, red, the end here was 35, so that 40 is good. And I say okay. Um, and you can see the difference. Now it's pretty evident that one map is worse than the other. Uh, there is more. The rates are higher. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to quickly do a, um, a dashboard here. And I'm just going to grab these two and bring them here. Make a little layout, I guess, um, so that you can compare them, right? Uh, you, can, you can change some things here, including the... Um, if I can find that, including the um, the filter, uh, not the filter, but the key, okay? And but it is here under. Sorry. Um, okay, let's just go back quickly here. Um, yeah, under edit colors, if you weren't happy, and I'm never. Often I'm not happy if the colors are so close because the data is pretty close, right? The difference between 10 and 40 is not that much, right? So that's what the colors. You could play around, um, I'd say be conservative in the colors. Um, you can sometimes play with these diverging scales and then kind of um, hack them to make them exactly the colors that you want. And if you did that, you know, you'd have a kind of crazy stuff like this where you could even edit the colors. Um, and if it's a diverging scale, you can even um, change the center, like where the colors would change from one to the other. Um, so you can apply that, but you can see that this would be totally, well, actually it doesn't look so bad. Um, anyway, you definitely do not want a diverging scale. So let's go back to that. And um, and for now, I think we'll just leave it alone. So the dashboard gives us a pretty good picture. You know, perhaps you want to darken it, but um, okay. So that's how to create a map. And just very quickly, I'm going to show. Um, that obviously there are problems with these kind of maps in terms of um, the land tends to distort what you know what the reality on the ground is, so to speak, right? So yeah, okay, here's Wikipedia Claro Path. You're just basically taking a geographic or a political region, really, like a county or a or a state, and coloring it with a color. So. I'll give you this example of the United States election, which immediately shows that when you do, for example, um, you know, by geography, you know, this map looks very red, but perhaps 
it's not really truly what happened and there's a better view here so this is the election from 2008 uh let's say 2004 um, yeah so this was the election in 2008 when obama won the first time you can see that actually the blues areas where he won is actually not that big right so you would think from here the red won, but in fact uh, blue one because if you do another map which is, this one is called a cartogram where um, each little square here is an electoral vote an electoral college vote um, looks funny but this gives a better representation of the actual data right so keep in mind that there is always that risk with um, with choroplat maps that they you know that they distort the data a little bit uh, but for a quick for a quick snapshot, it's okay. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you next time. Bye.